Hello everybody. Welcome to PvZ2. Yes, we're back in Plants vs. Zombies 2. I know I've been delaying it, but back in PvZ2 with more big wave beasts. And uh Black Plants Plants vs. Zombies 2. We're we're getting to Big Wave Beach. And uh, last time I went for the first five levels of Big Wave Beach, but I know that the world's gonna get harder. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I need a stockpile on sprouts because uh, yeah, I lost so many sprouts. I lost so many sprouts when doing plant foods. So I re I need to begin stockpiling. Survive the zombie attack with most plants picked for you. Oh no, it's one of these levels. One of these old words. Oh my. Well, I'm definitely not gonna use the shooters. I'm gonna use the fire piece but uh. Yeah. Concealment, because concealment can one shot tons of zombies. Alright, let's You wanna keep the base nice and clean. I don't really use sunflowers a lot because I'm not the kind of guy that uses the classic sunflower. I more go for the twin sunflower. Oh, no. well, I'm dummy. <laughs> All right, let's place a tangled kelp so that I can easily knock out zombies because tang tangled kelp can one-shot zombies. And not only that, but tangled kelp food can also one-shot four different zombies. Now oh, we got a low tide. First fire pea should be laid down on the base. Yes, some plant food. I don't care enough plant food that it easily allows me to do And we have a zombie returning from PvP 1, and this is the Snorkel Zombie. And if you ever played Plants vs. Zombies 1, you'll know how difficult Snorkel Zombies are. Because they'll technically just. Most of the time, they'll just. They'll just. They'll frequently hide in the water, and they can only be damaged when they rise up to either eat lily pads, or they can usually be taken out very quickly. And if we use a tangle cup, bam. Oh, but as you can see, snorkel zombies completely ignore. Unless we do this, and then that actually causes them to go up, so which allows them to actually, to actually do, to actually get damaged. We'll do the quick damage. So yeah, day six is going pretty easy. We're not having that many bad encounters. Everything's going on smooth. Oh, I forgot to have fire pea shooters. I need to tell you, my fire pea shooter is only at level 2, so it's not really that powerful. And look at this, look at this damage. Doing the good work. The fire pea shooter is doing dog work here. Yes, more plant food, which means more, more damage. I like the tang Tangle Kelp is a cool plant, but the Tangle Kelp's Tangle Kelp near forever to actually load in. For lily pad, this is gonna be reserved for putting concealment there. Watch this, watch this gravity game move. Five zombies in one go. That is way too powerful. Dang. Tangle Kelp is a very broken plant. It breaks the game in half. Holy crap. Oh, 
we actually get the Tangle Kelp, okay. Tangle Kelp, aquatic plant that pulls a zombie underwater, and yes, you can, you can go to the Zen Garden and plant food this thing to make it very buffed and also make it very powerful, because Tangle Kelp's plant food is very broken in Big Wave Beach. It pretty much dominates. What the heck is this? Alright, we got normal setup. Turn to me. Gonna bring in the trusty Tangle Kelp. Oh, we need to play. That's where you got upgraded. Fair enough. Now I'm not so much. Now I'm not so quite restricted. Now I can actually play. Oh, this is a bad bubble. This is a very bad level. Because the way we go all the way to the lawn mowers, which is actually quite bad. Because, well, if there's no lily pads, then that means we're in deep trouble. Deep, deep trouble. Which ain't a good thing. So we need to start, we need to start laying lily pads down quick or we're dead meat. That's the game. Hey. Ah, yes, an upcoming snorkel zombie. Ooh, just, I don't know. Eat it. Just like putting up the defenses quick. Wait, we got upcoming danger ahead. Gravity is the priority. Yes, the snorkel zombie now works for me. Go attack the bucket head. Zombies in one go. That is actually kind of nuts. I did I am actually pretty. I'm pretty awestruck that. Quite awestruck that. Like. Snorkel zombie ate some. Oh, come on, really? that doesn't work.
we're ten, we're ten minutes in. And this is not going too bad. Things are actually going okay. So Big Wave Beach is going very smoothly. Nothing bad's happening. Oh, what's this bowling? My research is so bad. The sport of bowling experienced the heyday during this era, the era of the 60s. Because yes, Petty's research indicates that the sport of bowling experienced the sport of bowling experienced the heyday during the 60s era. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Penny? I find your thought process indecipherable, username. I was thinking that bowling balls would make excellent allies here. Uh, I was thinking how much I love wearing bowling shoes. That actually kind of reminds me, I actually went bowling once in... I was at... One time during the summer when I was in Spring Hill, Florida, I went to a bowling alley and I had a, I had a fun time at that bowling alley. I, I forgot the name. So many colors right there on my feet. Well, we're not... Oh, sorry. Sorry, you. Sorry. Sorry, Dave. We're not playing walnut bowling today. We're not doing walnut bowling. And we're certainly not knocking down bowling pins. We're knocking down zombies. So yes, welcome to what I can only describe to be walnut bowling 2.0. Okay, so this is just walnut bowling. This is pretty much the mini game from Plants vs Zombies One, except instead of using walnuts and a very powerful walnut that is what that is like the size of Godzilla, we instead use bowling balls, which aren't as powerful but can still put the damage. And we also got this. Watch this. Bam, look at this. You even get coins, just like in the original minigame. Just like in just like in Walnut Bowling, you can get coins by knocking down waves of lines of zombies in one go. Why was I stumbling here? I didn't even eat sometimes. Alright, so <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this gravity device. Oh, you, you can do that. You can, you can get, you can get sprouts by playing this. I think, I think when, I think when I have, I think when I have like the off time, I'll maybe go play this stage a few times just to grind up sprouts because you can earn a multitude of rewards. You can earn coins. You can also earn, you can also earn sprouts. I do know you can earn gems. You can get you can get gems by knocking out these zombies, but the chance of them dropping gems is exceedingly low. So don't expect don't expect Lady Luck to be on your side all the time. Lady Luck will only come to your side whenever she feels like it. Which is also the same way as in Yo Kawash Pony Pony when I'm going to the gacha and I try to yeah. Oh look, cool coins. That's a reward you can get. Cool. Oh, ow. Ah uh, yes, keeping zombies on my lawn by playing bowling. Now I know that later on there will be gargantuars, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, this is just me playing bowling. So let's speed things up a bit because it's going to be great. Oh, look at that. Our first Gargantua. Like I said, Gargantua's pin. Gargantua will be in this minigame. So. We just got to take out the Gargant. The Gargi.
go. That's it. That, that's bowling. That's the bowling. And uh, this is the next door. The three of the man puncher black shadow. Uh, crack. Crack on the PS1. <laughs> Alright, we got we got banana cannon. We got the crack for PS1. <laughs> what am I even saying? Oh, look at this. Ew. I think we know who this calls for. Yep. Of course, we can't forget Lily Kelsey. Angle Kelps. That's that's now our motto for Big Wave. That's our motto for Big Wave Beach until it's over. Let's bring the Ollie Man. The Ollie Man, because I'm pretty. Maybe the Ollie Man can do massive damage, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not really <laughs> Dumb. I am dumb sometimes. Oh shit! Uh, push my defense this close to the zombies area. Yeah, that works. That works out all fine. Look at this lightning. This. Look at the lightning replanting. The lightning replanting pretty much just does all the work for me. This makes everything way too. Oh wait! Yes, the light, the lightning reads the plant, the lightning reads the can attack local zombies. Yes, that's a good counter. Can use lightning reads plant food. It can counter local zombies. Right up my alley. No, I don't need your dumb advertisements. I'm not even interested. Most of these advertisements, I'm not even interested in. All right, we're gonna ten. Let's see how the recording. Yeah, we can do one more level. We can do one more level for today, and I'm gonna call it quits after that. I'm gonna call it quits once we once we do this last level. I'm gonna call it quits because. Ah, oh, look at this bowling bowl thing. Uh, Alright, bowling. Oh, bowling bowls actually do what they did in the minigame. They. They start with small damage, then they go for medium damage, then they go for heavy damage. But then they continue to keep going small unless the lane is empty. Are you freaking kidding me? The lane has to be empty in order for this match because the uh, power stuff? That's, that's dumb. That's dumb. They should be regenerated by the same. But anyway, they should regen first and then they go through. They go through. Then you're able to do the damage. Just, just 
something where it always has to be empty. Who is the best red job that came up with this? I'm not sure what damage because it can one shot almost every zombie. Yeah, in conclusion, yeah, that's it. Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. In conclusion, I break everything. I break everything.